Tonight on Mellow TV Sports, Junior Fleming suspended and fined by the USL. Christian Press and Tobin Heath get amazing jersey sales for Manchester United. And Dominic Thiem out of the French Open. We kick off Mellow TV Sports with some serious football news as Jamaican international Junior Fleming has been handed a six-game suspension and an undisclosed fine for directing an anti-gay slur at San Diego loyal midfielder Colin Martin during last Wednesday's USL game. The USL Championship handed the Phoenix Rising forward the suspension which covers the entirety of the 2020 USL Championship playoffs. Per the player's contract, Flemings could also be subject to additional disciplinary action from Phoenix Rising and remains on administrative leave. The incident occurred at Torero Stadium in the first half of the match and resulted in the loyal players walking off the pitch in protest, giving up a playoff spot despite leading 3-1 at the time. After the incident, Landon Donovan, former U.S. national team starter and current loyal court co-owner and rising coach Rick Shantz discussed what happened with match officials with Donovan reacting incredulously to Shantz's approach to what happened. Phoenix issued a statement in reaction to the suspension saying they accept and support the results of the USL's investigation. It added that in addition to serving the suspension imposed by the USL, Flemings will remain on administrative leave for the remainder of his existing contract term, which concludes on November 30, 2020. The statement reads, the team will provide Flemings with the resources he needs to learn and grow from this so that he may become a model for change in our sport. Flemings has been Phoenix Rising's leading goal scorer this season with 14 goals from 14 games and has helped them into the playoffs. The sales of jerseys with the names United States star Tommy Heath and Christian Press outsold any of Manchester United's men's players for the first three days after their signing. Heath and Press joined United in September on one-year deals from the Portland Thorns and Utah Royals respectively in what was seen as a massive coup for the young English club. They made their United debuts in the side's 3-0 win over Brighton and Heard Albion on Sunday with Heath providing an assist. The two-time World Cup winners are among a number of U.S. women's national players to join Women's Super League this season, with Sam Mewis and Rose Lavelle joining Manchester City and Alex Morgan at Tottenham Hotspurs. The 2019-2020 season was United's maiden year in the English top flight after they had won promotion from the championship. The side is fourth in the WSL after two wins and a draw in their first Three games. We bowl over to cricket news now. West Indies white ball captain Kieran Pollard took one wicket and held two catches to help Mumbai Indians beat the Rajasthan Royals and move back top of the IPL table. Pollard had figures of 1 for 24 from his overs while taking the catches to dismiss jo Joss Butler for 70 and a drop for Archer 24. At Rajasthan, Royals were dismissed for 136, chasing 194 to lose by 57 runs. Butler's 10th IPL 50, which featured four sixes and four fours, had given Rajasthan faint hope of chasing down Mumbai's 193 for four, in which Sharia Kumar Yadav made 79 not out from 47 deliveries. But when the Englishman was out to a fine catch from Pollard at long on in the 14th over, the Royals were all but done at 98 for 5, having initially slipped to 12 for 3 inside 3 overs. Rajasthan were eventually raised in 18.1 overs, with Jasper Bumrah taking 4 for 20. Mumbai take over from Delhi Capitals at the IPL Summit on net run rate, but have played one more game than Sharia Ayer's side, who are next in action against Rajasthan on Friday. We go over to tennis news now. World number three Dominic Thiem is out of the French Open after losing an epic five-set battle of attrition 
against Diego Schwartzman in the quarterfinals. Now, the Austrian who won the U.S. Open last month was beaten 7-6-5-7-7-6-7-6-6-2 after five hours and eight minutes of drama as 13th seeded Schwartzman reached his first Grand Slam semifinals. Schwartzman made it a double celebration for Argentina after Nadia Podokoska earlier became the first qualifier to reach the semifinals of the women's singles. The world number 14 had lost his last three encounters with Diem, but pulled it clear to win the last four games of the fifth set and denied Diem a place in the French Open Final Four for the fifth consecutive year. Schwartzman will now face 12-time champion Rafael Nadal, who he beat on his way to the Italian Open Final last month, or Italian teenager Yannick Sinner. Now, Daniel Altamir's breakthrough run at the French Open came to an end with a straight sets defeat by 17th seed Pablo Carreno Bosta in the fourth round. Spaniard Carreno Bosta beat the world's number 186 627562 to reach the quarterfinals, matching his best performance at Roland Gallows. Meanwhile, world number 131, Podoroska beat third seed Elena Svitolina. Podoroska, who had never won a Grand Slam main draw match before arriving in Paris and was facing a top 20 opponent for the first time in her career, beat Svitolina 6-2-6-4 in 1 hour and 19 minutes. Svitolina was the highest ranked player left in the field, but she was second best against Podoroska, who is on a 13-match winning run. Podoroska will meet Polish teenager Iga Swatek or Italian qualifier Martina Trisvikan. Now, American Daniel Collins booked the final spot in the women's quarterfinals with a 6-4, 4 victory over Aunt Jabeur in the rain-delayed encounter. She will face Sofia Kenin tomorrow. German qualifier Altamir was bidding to become the first man to reach the last eight on his Grand Slam debut since Alex Redelescu in Wimbledon 1996. Finally, in the sports news tonight, prosecutors in France have opened an investigation into match fixing at the ongoing French Open. The target is a doubles match featuring Romanian pair Andrea Mito and Patricia Maria Tig and Jana Sisikova of Russia and her American teammate Madison Brengel. No individual player has been named as a target. The Romanian team won the match in straight sets 7-6, 6-4. The probe by the Paris prosecutor's office appears to be gang-related as the charges being investigated are for fraud in an organized group as well as active and passive corruption in sport. It is centered on the first round encounter between the teams on September 30. And those are the stories making sports news tonight. We now head back to the news desk with Tamara Mikhail. Thank you, Christopher. And now to end tonight's newscast, here are the main points. An additional three COVID-19 related deaths and 97 new cases were recorded across Jamaica in the last 24 hours. Prime Minister Andrew Holness today announced changes to the current curfew hours for the Heroes Weekend. The Parliamentary Caucus of the Opposition People's National Party is calling for the immediate reinstatement of the opposition's chairmanship of all sessional committees of the House of Representatives. And the Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation, KSAMC, has closed building sites in the corporate area due to building breaches. And that's our news package for you tonight. Thank you for tuning in to Mellow TV Evening News at 8. Remember, stay home and stay safe. I am Tamar McHale. Pleasant viewing.